Today marks the start of the fall season. It's the autumnal equinox, so Earth is roughly straight up and down on its axis. That means daytime, nighttime roughly equal for us. That also means those nights are going to be longer than the daytime periods until we get to the start of the spring season to completely reverse that trend. Uh, of course, uh, we also expect fall like weather to line up with the calendar. That's not always the case. Happens to be this time around, though. We're looking at a cool night ahead. Upper 50s right now, 60 degrees in Rockford. We are expecting to cool off several more degrees in this. So some spots may even border on the 40s later tonight as we should drop about another 10 to 7 degrees from where we are right now. It puts Rockford at 53 degrees tonight. Few clouds overhead, cool, crisp weather staying in place. Light southwest breeze and plenty of dry air should keep any kind of foggy conditions away during the overnight hours. And we do warm up pretty quickly throughout the course of the day. So even though we're seeing uh, less in the way of daylight, it still doesn't mean that with a sunny day, we don't heat up pretty rapidly back to the 70s by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon. In fact, we'll be above average by a couple degrees overall, all thanks to bright, clear conditions right now, relatively clear across the region, all thanks to high pressure parked near St. Louis, not even any clouds overhead. Last night's cold front well off to our south and any kind of scattered shower activity well off away from us too. So we'll maintain that relatively cooler and drier airflow through the night and then we start to see warmer winds kick in tomorrow. But with high pressure in place, no rain anytime soon. It's going to help out the area rivers. The Kishwaukee River, as well as the Rock River, running high throughout the rest of this week. will be near the flood stage, but not likely to exceed that flood stage uh, this week as we absorb all that water from the recent rainfall. And flood warnings will continue up and down the Pecatonica River up to possibly moderate levels, but likely just staying at minor levels all throughout this week. May take till next week or so before those rivers find they get back down below that flood stage. 78 degrees tomorrow thanks to warmer winds kicking in. We'll see gusts up to about 30 miles per hour, so that warmer, breezy air getting us well above average, and a few spots may even hit 80 degrees. Humidity will also be on the rise as well, so we still have some hints of summer left in the uh, forecast. You can see that oh, with high pressure and dry air in place, we'll have a dry, crisp night, but as that moves away, we have southerly winds bringing that humidity back. We'll start to feel that extra mugginess heading into tomorrow evening, and it will be in place by the time we get to Wednesday, so Wednesday as well feeling just a little humid out there. Another cold front comes through Wednesday and that means drier air right behind it. Really going to feel like fall on Thursday down into the 60s, very low humidity. So uh, that dry air in place, replacing the humid conditions. But then we're going to flip flop again by the time we get to Thursday or Thursday night into Friday. Warm front rolls in. It's going to bring the humidity back. So uh, look for alternating seasons almost throughout the course of the week. And uh, with these rapid changes, we're also seeing some chances for rain as the humidity climbs Tuesday night into Wednesday. Here comes some scattered showers and thunderstorms. They will be weakening as they arrive. So not expecting to see anything strong here. And you note that the intensity is going down as we look for those rain showers to move into our area. May still get some quick downpours before dawn on Wednesday. However, by the time we get to sunrise, the weather should be drying on out. will be dry for the remainder of Wednesday. Then there is the possibility of some sphere of storms across Iowa and Wisconsin into Tuesday night because they're weakening as they arrive for us. We're not expecting to see much, but as you can see right on the border here, so watch those closely going into early Wednesday morning. Seven day forecast shows alternating temperatures of these changes and humidity up to near 80 tomorrow, then down to the 60s by Thursday, then back up again going into next week. We also see several chances for further rainfall, most likely Friday and then Sunday into Monday. James and Kristen. Alex, thank you. Still to come.